In this tutorial, I'm looking at policies, which can be accessed from the left hand menu here, policies. So during this tutorial, we'll be looking at the settings and we'll be looking at how to set up policies. So first of all, the top right hand side, we've got settings. And you can see here that you're able to set up particular areas. We're able to put in types of different policies. These are taken from the DFE. Different types of approval. So again, any of these you're able to add or amend or delete accordingly. Renewal periods. These are set up as following. If you wanted to add some other ones, you can. If you wanted to amend or change the color by clicking on the edit pencil. The reminder setup. So for example, presently set at seven days, but if you want to change the day, you can either turn them on off or change the details. These are the notifications in place. So again, you can turn these on and turn these off or change the text accordingly. And if you wanted to, you have the ability to bulk open and upload a variety of policies. So now we're actually going to look at the policies. So how do we actually add a policy? So here you can see there's an icon that says add policy. So automatically set to the date here of when it's created, put the owner in any kind of reference, the type of the policy, description and type. So remember this is from looking at the settings. These were the types that already set. Review. So again, looking at the review period, again, you'll see this familiar from looking at the settings. The next review, you can then set into the future. Approval. Again, here, this from the settings, who's going to be the approval authority. And you're also able to say about the approvers. So again, based on the user rights, your name will appear in here, and that will be the person that would be the approver. You can have more than one, and you can set it that only one of those approvers needs to approve it, or you can set it that everybody does. The policy itself. So here, there's a space to put the policy, or if you wanted to, you can upload the file. We recommend that you actually don't upload the file. You copy and paste it into this area here. And the reason is when it comes to the approval process, you'll have to download the document, edit the document, and then re-import the file. Whereas if it just happened to be in this space here, you'd be able to make, actually make any kind of edits and create the history without having to upload and download documents. Area, you can see here, this comes from the settings, Academy. And with that, you just click save. It's then in place, and this will populate your area. So you will be able to see about which policies you're able to view, and also about which ones you're involved in editing, and which ones actually it requires you to approve. So this is your dashboard about policies in your organization. Thank you very much for watching this tutorial on policies.